Hello and welcome to this video on reverse fractions of amounts and what I mean by that is to find the value before a fraction of something was taken. So let's just take this first question for example. If two thirds of a number is 18 then what was the original number? So we know that two thirds of the number is 18 and we want to find what the original number is. Now if we try to do this pictorially we've got something which was split into two thirds and two thirds of it, i.e. these two slices here, was 18. So it means we could have like say nine dots here and we could have had nine things here. So two thirds of the whole was 18. So we got a third of it here and a third of it here, nine dots in each. Now, if we had nine dots in the other one, we could see that we'd have 27 dots in total. Another way of thinking about it is that if two thirds of something is 18, then a third of it would be half as much, which is nine. Now, if a third of something is nine, then all of it would be three times bigger than nine. So we've got nine times three is equal to 27. So we must have had 27. And let's just check. Two thirds of 27, well, 27 divided by three is nine times by two is 18, which is right. What about the second one? If three fifths of a number is nine, then what was the number? Well, if three fifths is nine, then one fifth of the number would be a third as much, so three times smaller. Well, that must therefore be three times smaller, so we'd add three. So if three fifths is nine, one fifth would be three. And then if a fifth of a number is three, then what's the original number? We just need to do three times five, which would be equal to 15. And we could check, well, three fifths of 15 is indeed nine. What about the third one? We've got four sevenths of some mystery number is equal to four fifths of 20. Well, let's work out what four fifths of 20 is first. Four fifths of 20. Do you remember that we just divide the 20 by the five, which is four, and multiply by the four, which is 16. Now we know that four sevenths of a number is equal to 16. And that means that one seventh of the number would be four times less. Now four times less than 16 is four. So if four sevenths of the number was 16, one seventh of it would have been four. And if one seventh of a number is four, we just need to do four times seven, which is equal to 28. Right, what about the next one? Two thirds of my marbles are red and one fifth are blue. The remaining 10 marbles are green. How many marbles are there? Well, let's work out first what fraction of the marbles are green. Well, if two thirds are red and then a fifth are blue, what is the total fraction of the marbles are either red or blue? Well, if we add those together, do you remember that we can multiply the denominators? Three times five is 15, and then we cross multiply the numerator. So two times five is 10, plus three times one is three, 10 plus three is 13. So that means 13 fifteenths of your marbles are either red or blue. That means the number of marbles that must have been green is the remaining two fifteenths. So if we subtract that from one, we know that two fifteenths of the marbles are green. So then we know that two fifths of the marbles is 10 marbles, because we had 10 green marbles. Therefore, one fifteenth is half as much, which is five. And then if a fifteenth of your marbles is five, then the total marbles would be five times 15, which is 75 marbles. What about the fifth one? And then I've got a killer question after. A t-shirt is reduced by a fifth to 12 pounds. What was the original cost? Well, if something was reduced by a fifth of its value, it's now at four fifths of its value. So that means four fifths of the cost was the sale price of 12 pounds. So that means we go to one fifth next. So one fifth is four times as small. So four times as small is three pounds. And that means the total cost is five times three, which is 15 pounds. Now, a last killer question, and this is much harder than you would actually get in a GCC paper. Um, Sheila spent a third of her money and then a third of what remained. In total, she spent 20 pounds. How much money did she start with? 
Well, let's think what fraction of her money she spent, because we're told how much money she spent, so we need to find what fraction of that money she spent. Now, she initially spent a third of her money, so that's initial expenditure, but then she spent a third of what remained. Now, what fraction of her money remained? Well, she spent a third of it, so two thirds of her money remains, and she's spending a third of that two thirds. So she's spending a third of the two thirds. So in total, she initially spends a third of her money, and then a third of the two thirds that remains. Now, do you remember if you see the word of, you can replace that with times? So that's a third multiplied by two thirds, and then we get a third plus, well, third times two thirds, one times two is two, three times three is nine, so we've got a third plus two ninths, well, that's three ninths plus two ninths is five ninths in total. So five ninths of her money was spent. But you're told that that five ninths was 20 pounds. So five ninths of her money was 20 pounds. That means one ninth is five times less, which is four pounds. And that means all of her money is just equal to four pounds multiplied by the nine, which is 36 pounds. And that is the answer.